humans have been around for a very long time, and in that time we've developed distinct ways to go about doing everyday tasks that have become universal to us all. Here are some things that you've been consistently doing wrong your whole life. Amazing! Number 10. Untying a Knot most people go about untying knots by using their fingertips as best they can to pull out one end from the center of the knot. However, a more effective technique involves the twisting of one end. By holding onto one of those loose ends of a knot and twisting it until the end stiffens up, it allows you to push it through the center of the knot and out the other end, making it easier to pull it out and undoing the knot. For more stubborn knots, you will need some extra help. Get yourself a corkscrew and use its tip to get between each strand. Twist the corkscrew until it hugs the strand and simply pull. The time this takes will vary based on the type of knot, but it will certainly take a lot less time than going about it the usual way. Number 9. Crushing a Can Crushing cans can be a tiring task if you find yourself without the proper can crushing tool. The most common ways to go about crushing cans are stomping on it until it flattens out, a simple squeezing of the hand, or, for the more daredevil of people, smashing it on your forehead. An easier, less tiring method takes some time but achieves the same end goal. Hold the can up and place both thumbs on the center of the can. Then you pull your thumbs away in a diagonal manner, leaving a slash-shaped dent on the can. Repeat this process until you have covered most of the can's surface area. Once covered, twist both ends of the can until flattened and you'll not only save the bottoms of your shoe, but a few concussions as well. Number 8. Reheating Pasta in a Microwave Microwaves are one of the modern day's simplest and most effective home appliances. All it takes is placing something inside, hitting one of the preset options on the microwave, or setting a custom time and then enjoying a nice hot plate or bowl of whatever you want. However, for the pasta lovers in the world, the microwave has been the main culprit behind cold pasta. To avoid the disappointment, form your pasta into a donut shape before placing it in the microwave. This will help you avoid cold spots in the pasta as it allows for the heat waves inside the microwave to travel through a less dense amount of pasta. Number 7. Covering your cough or sneeze Everyone coughs and sneezes, it's simply nature. What everyone also tends to do is use their hands or fists to cover their coughs and sneezes. Many don't think twice about it since it has been the norm for as long as anyone can remember. However, though it has been the standard, it is also the most unsafe method as it makes the spreading of bacteria much easier. Whether you are opening a door, shaking hands, or using a pen, once you have sneezed or coughed into your hands, you apply the bacteria your body expelled onto the surfaces of other items and into the bodies of other people. To avoid this, use your elbow to cover, and you will not only mask the sound but also avoid spreading the germs by leaving them all in your elbow rather than on your widely used hands. Number 6. Eating from a bag of chips You'd think simply opening the bag, reaching inside, and grabbing a chip to eat would be as far as chip snacking comes. But you'd be wrong. To make your snacking just a tad bit more comfortable, you can turn your bag of chips into a bowl of chips. To do so, takes just a couple of simple steps. Grab your bag of chips and hold them upright. Next, get a hold of the left and right bottom ends with your fingertips and roll them inward. Continue this motion until you see the chips rise up to about rim level. Repeat that step anytime you see that the chips have gone down. There you have it, a simple and more convenient way to eat your chips. Now you have a free hand for that soda you have to constantly reach for and place back down. Number 5. Eating a Steak Many people would assume that since a steak is simply just a hunk of meat, any method of cutting will suffice regardless of the direction. However, in most cases this results in tougher cuts of steaks. The proper way to go about cutting the steak involves going against the grain. By cutting against the grain, you will loosen and lightly break down the muscle fibers of the steak which will give you a perfectly tender cut that's easier on the teeth. This method will also make it easier for the knife to go through because it is cutting the fibers as it is meant to do, rather than squeezing through them. Number 4. Drying yourself after a shower. Once showered, drying your body has been an open ballpark. Most people have abided by the method of applying the towel to any area with water. However, most health experts have begun to offer some sanitary advice. Even though you should be clean after showering yourself, the buttocks still houses a large amount of bacteria and oils. That's its job. Keeping them away from the rest of your body is recommended and can be done so by drying yourself from the top to bottom rather than bottom to top as some do, preferably leaving the buttocks area as the last area to dry. Number 3. Putting the toilet lid down 
This may be one of the most widely debated issues in any household. However, science is here to enter the fight and settle things once and for all. Sorry to all pro upseeders out there, but you are doing it all wrong. Though you may find it convenient to leave the seat up for future use, what you are actually doing is spreading the germs throughout your entire bathroom. When you flush the toilet after any kind of use, the water swirls with whatever contents inside, mixes with it, and then the updraft caused by the motion pushes the aerosolized contaminated water into the air contaminating the area around the toilet. This then causes items that were once used for cleaning like toothbrushes, toothpaste, and towels to do the exact opposite, spread germs. The simplest way to avoid this is by closing the toilet lid before flushing and, to keep things extra safe, placing any items you usually leave outside on the sink inside some container, usually the cabinet above the sink. Number 2. Cleaning your blender Almost every common kitchen tool can be cleaned using the same method, wetting it, applying soap, scrubbing it with a sponge, and rinsing it off. Though simple, this method should not be used when it comes to blenders. If you were to clean one the usual way, you would most likely nick your fingers with the blades at the bottom while scrubbing the inside, giving you some nasty smoothies. The safer way to go about it is, take the emptied blender and fill it about halfway with some warm water. Add a couple drops of dish soap and cover it with the lid. Place it back on, blend the soap slash water mixture a couple times, and then pour it out. Rinse it one last time until all the leftover soap is gone, and then place it on a kitchen towel upside down to dry. Not only will you save your fingers from some nasty cuts, you will also have cleaned the area below the blender blades, an area that was previously left unreachable without the taking apart the blending cup and cleaning each part individually. Number 1. Closing a bag of chips. No one likes stale chips. Those who do shouldn't be trusted. However, maintaining that satisfying crunch can be difficult when you find yourself without a proper container or bag clip. Luckily, this can all be solved in a pinch. Much like the bag bowl, grab your bag and stand it upright. Pinch both ends of the open side with your fingers and bring them both towards the center of the bag, forming a sort of X shape. Fold over the top, left over, portion of the bag covering the x-shaped ends. Now, roll the whole thing downward once or twice, depending on the size of the bag. Once that is done, roll it in the opposite direction, tucking everything into a fold and you will have a nicely sealed bag of chips. Now you can sit back and relax while your chips stay intact and crunchy. Which ones surprised you the most? And can you think of any new ones we haven't seen before? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button because that way you won't miss another video. Thanks for watching.